Greetings everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another product review. In this video, we're going to be looking at this thing right here, the PNBOO PN10. This is another display tablet actually, uh, even though it kind of looks like it's just a regular graphics tablet. Um, uh, no, it's actually a display tablet. It's a 10 inch display tablet. Um, PN Boo was gracious enough to uh, let me try this thing out. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna look at this thing. Um, first off the bat, uh, the box for this thing is actually pretty nice. I was not expecting an actual like nice box. In fact, when I got it, it still had the plastic um, shrink wrapping that you usually get from products when they're like just shipped out of a factory to go to a store. So I'm actually curious um, if these things are actually designed to be sold in stores. That's actually pretty nice. It, it's a really nice, uh, really nice box. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm glad that they upped their quality of the box a little bit uh, with actual graphics. This is a nice little 10-inch display tablet. It's actually about like the same screen size as my Galaxy Tab A tablet, uh, which I would show you them next to each other. In fact, I might. I'm gonna. F I'll film them next to each other so you can see that they're actually around the same size. Um, resolution wise, uh, because this is a smaller tablet, they did bump the resolution down. It's not 1080p, I wish it was, but it's not. It's actually kind of a weird resolution. It's 1280 by 800, which is a little odd. <laughs> um, so if you're gonna have an R program on, like drag down into the screen, it is a little uh, weird because it does kind of compress things a little bit. But if you're used to tablets anyway, then I guess, not a problem. Um, <laughs> it's just a little weird. Um, but yeah, uh, let's show you some footage of the actual tablets being opened and unboxed and such. Like I said, the box looks really nice. I got it with the shrink wrap still intact. And then you see the nice box itself. The actual box inside, that's just a cardboard casing so you can slide the actual box out. And even the inner box looks pretty nice. It's actually relatively well designed. I'm impressed. To open the box, it literally just kind of flips up like a briefcase style. And then right there you see the tablet. Um, the packaging is inside is actually pretty decent. It's got some foam pieces to protect it. Um, let's, so let's take the tablet out and push it to the side, uh, but just to let you know that's pretty nice. So let's push that to the side. Underneath is where we actually have all the components inside, uh, where you're actually going to find your actual pieces to it. Uh, right off to the side you can see there's this little rectangly box. So if I open this up, slip it out, you'll notice that this is indeed the pen that we draw with. Uh, the pen's a little different. Um, it's extremely light. Like I'm holding it here. This is a very light pen. Um, even like it's about the weight of maybe a mechanical pencil. Um, even even my mechanical pencils actually are a little bit heavier than this. Um, the thing that they kind of promote is that this is not battery charged and it's not USB charged. This needs no charging or battery. Um, so for those of you who are really up and about about the whole having to charge your pen or having to replace batteries, I have no problem with that, but I know some people do. So if that's a problem. That's fine, this does not need any charging. The next thing you'll notice over here on the side is actually the nibs holder. Um, this doesn't actually hold the pen. It just holds the nibs, uh, the nib replacements for the pen, which is interesting. Usually they give you the actual pen holder. This one actually doesn't come with a pen holder, which is interesting. Inside that little middle console, as you can see me flip that up, is where your other components are. The USB cable which is actually a kind of a special USB cable, which I'll show you in a sec. And then you have the HDMI plug, which is also a little bit special because it uses HDMI to micro HDMI. And then in the bottom you have, of course, your manual and your CD to have all your drivers. Oh, and of course I would not be able to go throughout one of these videos without mentioning another glove. Yay. But yeah. This is a nice little tablet. Uh, you see I'm holding it right now. Like I said, it's very small. Um, it's got actual buttons on the side. So that's a nice selling feature. It's got six little buttons here. Um, six to me is an okay amount. Uh, I wish there were more. Or at the very least, I wish their program, their drivers, had the ability to map one button to, say, <clears throat> a drop-down menu. So if you hit that button, it opens up a menu and you can click on... Uh, one of the multiple options like I click this button it opens up a tool menu and then I can tap whatever tool I want 
So I wish it had that option. That would make it so that these keys were a little more useful. But if you don't use a lot of keys or if you have it close by to your keyboard, you probably won't have a problem or you can just tap on the screen on certain tools. So you can get all your main tools here on the side here, which is nice. Um, the one thing I notice uh, that this thing really does need is it doesn't come with any stand. Uh, so it doesn't have an adjustable stand. As you can see, there's not even any screws on the back of this thing to put a stand on. So this thing will lay flat. You could buy a um, one of those things for graphics tablets. They actually do make uh, angled stands for them to sit on your desk. You could buy one of those and set it on there. Um, I think that the, what they should have done is design this thing to either come, to basically come kind of like keyboards do where they have those little pop out uh, legs. I can understand a little bit why they wouldn't do this because this is designed to be left or right handed. So if they did that, they would have to put it on both sides and that'd be kind of awkward to design. Um, but they could have sent this with a stand like I was talking about, one that's angled on. Um, so it's a little bit of a negative, but other than, but otherwise that's not really a problem. Uh, so how does this thing draw? It draws pretty well. Um, in fact, I'll switch over to me drawing on it and I'll make sure I have the camera, you know, facing my hand so you can see me drawing. It draws relatively well. It's very smooth. I haven't had any issues. The only issue I really had was the screen resolution was a little weird. So what I would do is I would open up my uh, Clip Studio, drag it down there, and then when I'm actually drawing, I would hit the tab key, which basically collapses all of the menus and stuff that's on the screen. I believe other programs have that same ability where you can hide all the little menus and windows and then you can just hit tab to bring them back when you need them. This greatly improves your ability to draw with this thing if you can hide all those because now you have more surface area. But yeah, it draws just fine. I mean, I was able to draw very well. Um, it's very light. Um, this is designed to be very portable and it does that by having um, basically a very easy setup with the USB. It only, it's powered through USB. And then right next to that, you have your um, HDMI cable, uh, HDMI input, which is a mini or micro uh, HDMI. And then you have the power button on the side. And yeah, it's designed to be portable and come with you wherever you go with your laptop. Um, even if you have like a micro computer, like a micro PC, which they do make, you'd be able to use this just fine with that. Um, and it works on your desk too, as you can see here, although again, it's a little awkward because of the size, so, uh, or not because of the size, because it doesn't have a stand, you can't tilt it up, which is a little awkward for my back, but maybe you have no problem. If you're used to drawing on the table like that anyway, then obviously you're not gonna have a problem with that. But yeah, um, it's a nice little tablet. It's relatively inexpensive. I don't remember the exact price, but I'll, I'll put the price up here on the screen and it works fine it's honestly not a it's a really nice tablet it reminds me of my dis my and my android tablet but as it is even as an entry level tablet it's really well uh made it's well put together it works just fine uh if you're low on income or let's just say this is your first uh display tablet it's actually a really good starter display tablet i would get this for somebody who is just beginning it would pretty much work just fine. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like uh, the video, comment down below and anything else you wanna see. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you'd like to support me in what I do and allow me to keep doing these reviews a little bit faster so I can get products, you can support me on patreon.com. Uh, all the money from there goes right back into buying these products so that I can review them for you. Um, and also the more money I can get on Patreon, I can do more giveaways like I did last time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.